This video provides information for scholar contacts in schools and will cover the role of the scholar contact, how new scholar accounts are created, how to help teachers and learners access their scholar accounts, special types of scholar accounts that are available and some handy points to help your school to make effective use of scholar. Each school has a nominated scholar contact who plays an important role acting as the principal point of contact for communications between Scholar and their learning community. As a Scholar contact, you are able to request and manage the Scholar accounts for your teachers and learners, and we'll let you know whenever new accounts have been created for someone at your school. In order for your teachers and learners in S4, S5 and S6 to be enrolled on Scholar's courses, we will ask you to provide us with the necessary data by completing the spreadsheets we send you and submitting these using the secure Upload Spreadsheet feature in the platform. You may also wish to enrol S3 or BGE learners, perhaps to access our Level 3 or National 5 course materials. Depending upon the reason for registering new accounts, there are slight differences in the data we need you to send. Contact our admin team who will send you the relevant spreadsheet template ensuring we have the correct data to enrol your teachers and learners. In this example, we'll enrol a new class of S5 learners for a teacher who wants to use our higher biology course materials with their class. First, we'll complete a pupil spreadsheet listing all learners in this class. You can enrol a learner for more than one course at a time. For each course a learner is studying, just complete another row in the spreadsheet. The cohort which will usually be completed for you, but will always be the year plus SCO, for example, 2023 SCO. Your school SQA number. The subject ID. You can find a list of courses available in the second tab of the spreadsheet. For our chosen class, this is C807 space 76. The subject ID should be entered exactly as it appears in the list of subject IDs tab including any spaces. The learner's SCN, first and last name. For the class, this is the name your school uses to identify each class. For example, you might have three higher biology classes called class one, class two and class three. We will use this class code later in a teacher spreadsheet to allow us to match up each teacher with the classes they're teaching. Please note, there should be no spaces in the class name. Enter the learner's year group if this hasn't been entered for you. For learners, the status is normally set to 1 unless they are enrolled at another school and are only studying some courses at your school. In this case, use the status number 2. Please leave the password and date added columns empty. We'll save this learner spreadsheet and upload it to Scholar in a moment or two. To make sure that the teachers working with these learners are able to track their progress in our reporting system, all we need to do now is to provide a spreadsheet identifying the staff member teaching this class. The staff spreadsheet is similar but has a few differences. There is a staff ID column, which should remain blank. The staff spreadsheet requests a staff email address. Please supply the email address of the teacher if you know it because without this, they will be unable to use our forgotten password feature or receive any email alerts regarding updates to the courses they teach. Finally, if the class teacher is a principal teacher, head of department or faculty head and needs to be able to see reporting information for all learners studying this subject, whether they teach them personally or not, enter a one, otherwise enter a zero. Teachers are normally only able to view scores and progress data of their own learners, but principal teachers, heads of department and faculty heads are able to track all progress for learners in a certain subject. Once the data has been saved in the teacher spreadsheet, you can upload both files using the Upload Spreadsheet feature in our Password Manager, adding any note to our admin team if you feel that would be useful. Your spreadsheets will then be processed Although at certain times of the year, it can take up to three working days for our system to update with any changes you make. You will be notified by email once your school accounts are ready. Once you've been notified that accounts are ready, you can provide teachers and learners with the account details they need to log in. You'll find these in the passwords area of your Scholar contact account. 
For learners, select Student Passwords, where you can choose to download a copy of the full list via the Download This Data link, or reveal one password at a time by selecting the Show button next to the relevant account. Teachers' details can be downloaded or revealed in the same way from the Staff Passwords area. Teachers can also obtain their account details through the Forgotten Password link on our login page. It's important that teachers provide the same email address as provided in the uploaded spreadsheet for this feature to work. It's worth noting that if your school has set up single sign-on with Scholar, there is no need for you to distribute separate Scholar account details as teachers and learners can log in with the details they already use in your organisation. You can check if single sign-on has been set up for your school by checking the list available on our login screen. As a Scholar contact, you can also check which courses your teachers and learners are currently enrolled on by selecting either Staff Enrolments or Student Enrolments. Here, you will be able to see an entry for each class that a teacher or learner is enrolled on. This means, for example, that if a learner is enrolled on five Scholar courses, there will be five separate entries for that student in this list, each line giving the class enrolment details. Teachers also have access to the Passwords area but can only see the account and enrolment details for the learners that they teach. Temporary teacher and temporary learner accounts are special types of accounts provided to you and it is important to understand their purpose. Scholar automatically creates a bank of temporary teacher accounts which you can give to supply teachers working in your school. These are available within the Password Manager and there is a temporary teacher account for each class which will allow the supply teacher to access the reporting system, letting them review the scores and progress reports for learners in the class. Note that student teachers at your school can use a special Scholar account available to ITE institutions rather than a temporary teacher account. This account has access to all courses, but it will not allow them to access learner data in the reporting system. You will also have a bank of temporary learner accounts, again one temporary account per class, which should only be used until the learner receives their new account or their account is given access to a requested course or class. These accounts should only be used in the short term. It's important to provide your learner with their own account as soon as possible so they can track their own progress and test scores. In this final section of our video, we'll take a look at a few things that are useful for Scholar contacts to know. Did you know that learners have access to over 40 courses in Scholar? Using data supplied by schools, learners will normally be enrolled on all of the Scholar courses that appear on their timetable. And this ensures that their teachers have full access to reporting information on their progress and can view their scores and mark answers online. However, Sometimes a teacher or learner might need access to a course that doesn't appear on their timetable or to one on which they are not yet enrolled. This could happen when a teacher on one course has spotted an engaging online activity from a different course that they would like to use with their learners. Or possibly when a learner has changed subject at short notice and the update to their scholar registrations has yet to be completed. Getting access to other courses is no problem as all teachers and learners automatically have guest access to all Scholar courses that they are not enrolled for. On the welcome screen, below the list of timetabled courses, you will see a Display Other Courses toggle. This can be useful in many ways. It can allow learners to find other material relevant to their studies or even get a head start on next year's curriculum towards the end of the summer term or just do a bit of window shopping ahead of subject choice time. Please note that this guest access to courses provides access to the online learning materials only and will not track progress or scores data. The learner needs to be enrolled onto the course in order for this to happen. While teachers can only download progress and scores data for their classes, principal teachers, heads of department and faculty heads can download the data for all learners at subject level. As the Scholar contact, your account gives you the ability to download all reporting data for each course for every learner at your school. To download the progress and or scores data, 
go into the reports section and select a course, then select either the download all progress data or download all scores data button. Depending upon the number of classes you have, this may take a moment or two. The download is in Excel format and you can make use of the usual spreadsheet filters in order to manipulate the data as you wish. See our video entitled Downloading a Record of Progress and Scores Data for full details. Finally, our friendly admin team are more than happy to help with any queries and you can contact them directly by email, phone or using the contact form on our website.